This is the Sony ECM G1. And in this video, we're gonna go through everything that you need to know about this microphone and who this microphone is best suited for. Now, I have a second video that I created around the ECM B10 and B1M, which are two other small microphones from Sony that are perfect for content creators. And so if you're looking for a good audio solution to make your videos, well, there's different advantages for each one of these microphones. So make sure you check out the second video and I'll link to that down below in the description. But I wanna say a special thanks to Sony for sponsoring this video and giving me the chance to play around with all these microphones and get a better understanding understanding of how they work. So the ECM G1 is Sony's smallest microphone. This thing is tiny. And this was built with content creators in mind, especially newer content creators or those of you who just don't wanna to think too much about your audio. The way that this microphone works is that as soon as you plug it into your camera, it takes over all the audio settings and it goes completely auto. So here is a quick audio test without the microphone on the camera. This is just camera audio. I'm holding the G1 in my hand. And now I've put the G1 back on the camera and now you can hear the difference between the G1 and no microphone on the camera. What makes this microphone so easy to use is that you just clip it into the hot shoe mount and you don't have to worry about any cable connection. It has a digital interface that works with Sony's newer cameras so that as soon as you plug in the microphone, it's powered on and it's ready to start shooting. Now, if you're using something like the Xperia or you're using a camera that's not a Sony camera, well, you can still use this microphone. On the side of the mic, there is an audio out. So you can use this as an analog mic and plug it into any camera that has an audio input. So there's no manual controls on this microphone at all. As soon as you plug in the microphone in a Sony camera, when you go in your menu settings, you'll notice that all the audio settings are gonna be grayed out. So there's no manual controls it's completely auto. Now, when you're using this microphone, the pickup pattern is gonna be super directional. So it's gonna be in front of camera. So that means if you're off to the sides or behind the camera, you're not gonna get clean audio. The intent of this microphone is to capture your audio being in front of camera. So if you're vlogging and the camera's pointed at you, you're gonna get clear audio of whatever you're saying. And it's gonna cut out all the ambient sounds around the camera. Now there's an additional windscreen that you can add on top of this microphone to cut out any wind sounds. Now this is super useful when you're outside and there's a slight breeze, because if any sort of wind hits the microphone, you'll hear a and when you put on the windscreen, it's gonna cut out all the sounds. And this is something that I use all the time because when I'm making my videos, I'm typically outside. So this is an essential part of my kit when I'm out filming these types of videos. Now, Sony was able to keep this microphone super tiny because it has an internal shock mount. So this shock mount is gonna eliminate any sounds of, of handling the cameras or if you bump the camera in any way. Now, personally for me, this is a microphone that I'll just keep in my bag because it's so tiny. It works great in a run and gun setting where I don't wanna to think too much about my audio. And whenever I'm using a gimbal, this is gonna be on top of my camera just so I can always get clean audio of whatever I'm shooting. Now, the other microphone that I'll carry with me is gonna be the ECM B10 or the B1M. And if you wanna see more about those microphones, make sure you check out this video right here. It goes through everything you need to know about the other two microphones from Sony and why they might be a good option for you. I'll see you over there.